I'm going to talk about um, what I always talk about is men being, some men being just men and retarded. Okay. The whole um, incident, if you haven't heard about it, it happened in a village near Lahore. And this was an incident that happened with a seven-year-old girl. And she was kidnapped, then she was raped by a gang of people or group. And then her body was found. She was strangled to death and then her body was found in a garbage. It is not the first time I've ever heard something like this. And I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be the last time we're going to hear anything like this coming from Pakistan. Now I understand things like this happen here as well in Canada, in US, in the West. And it has been happening. But the only difference is that if here they catch the criminal or they catch the person or at least they try to catch the person who did it. In Pakistan, on the other hand, if that person is rich or has political power or knows contacts, they get away with anything. They literally get away with murder. Okay, look at top leaders. Some of them have committed the biggest crimes and they're still sitting there. So what I want to focus on is this, why does this keep happening there? And what can be done to stop this thing? You know, why are little young girls? I could not see the pictures. You people shared those pictures. I wanted to come live yesterday and talk about this because I have a daughter myself. Xenia is going to be four years old. That child was five, seven years old. Just, I can't put myself through the torture that little girl went through. Like, how could you people do this to little kids? These are little kids, little girls. But is it your culture? What is it? It happens over and over again in Pakistan. Now, on my news feed, everybody, everybody's like, oh, justice for Zainab, justice for Zainab, justice for Zainab. Do you guys not know how many young girls are married off in villages? You guys are all hypocrites. All of you are hypocrites in Pakistan. All these people that were on asking for justice on all these celebrities that just started talking about it no you guys don't talk about this that we should not be getting young girls married we should do something about this frustration that our men have we really should address this problem otherwise we're not going to find a solution and young girls are going to keep getting raped like this and people are going to keep running around the culprits nothing is going to happen you think they're going to catch someone no nothing is going to happen Things like this keep happening over and over and over again. Why in Pakistan? And now everyone will say, Oh, you are doing Pakistan's bad. You are doing Pakistan's bad. You are doing a good job. You are talking about it. You are doing a good job. 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 Oh my God. What about doing something better? Like what about doing something for the little kids, the women? Oh my goodness. I lost my mind yesterday and I am going to lose my mind right now too because I was so depressed just looking at that picture. I didn't want to do my show today. To be honest, I just wanted to come and talk about this because it disturbed me to the most. Also because I have a child. I have a daughter. That's why I don't leave my daughter with anyone unless I 100% trust them. Don't leave your kids, especially if you're in Pakistan. My advice, there's nothing that's going to change in Pakistan. If you're hoping... That is going to change and these men are going to change and girls are stop, gonna get stopped getting raped it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen so women have to do something about it we have to do something about it okay we have to raise our kids to be prepared for those situations especially in Pakistan especially in these little villages where these things happen you know I know personally of kids that have gotten raped by their uncles Little girls that have been molested within their families. It's the family people actually that do the most. To be honest, I'll tell you. It's just something and we don't want to talk about it. Oh my God, no, we can't talk about it. Too sexual. It's happening everywhere, but we're not going to talk about it. And it's not only little girls. It's not only little girls. It's little boys too. It's little boys too. In Afghanistan, in Pakistan, all this bacha bazi. Even though it's, these are the Islamic states and they hate gays, and they're against gays and bisexuals and lesbians, yet they will go and sleep with a little boy. Because in their head, it's okay. And I have met people in Pakistan that were like, there's nothing gay about that. There's nothing gay about it. I was just like, oh my God. And the, the child is underage. It, it was shocking to hear certain things that I was hearing. And I was just like, 
I cannot believe this is happening. They come and tell me that I'm wearing a bikini and I come out in a bathtub and that's bad? Hypocrisy on the top level. That's what it is. You should come to Pakistan to change it. And if you can, we don't need your advice. Oh, you're going to hear it from me. I don't care. Uh, you're going to hear it from me. I don't Pakistan. You think I'm crazy? I'm going to come to Pakistan? Huh? No, I'm not. Why don't you go and do something about it? You're there. Why don't you go do something about this? Instead of coming telling me, do you, why did you help in trying to find who those people were that actually killed her? Or have you ever stepped out of your house and told the next guy that he not kill her? He said to her mother in the house. 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 He said to you, men like you have no balls to say. You can just come and talk to me and type on the thing. You don't have no balls to go and influence another guy and explain it to the next guy that, you know what, maybe you should not look at that woman the way you do. Because you have a mother. You have a sister at home. What if that thing happened to her? So you, you, this is something common sense, which you guys don't have. That's all. Exactly. I'm frustrated with these stories that keep coming out, you know, where little girls, if I was in Pakistan, I would do something about it. You think that I wouldn't? I would. When I did go to Pakistan and I did do things about, you know, when I did do charity up there, kaha te tum logo nuhu, tumko pata hai? Nahi pata na? Kyunki tumko maalum nahi karna. You don't want to hear about it. You just want to hear when I wear a bikini and hold a Pakistani flag. That's all you care for. Dusra kaam aapke uska kya hai? Usme kya masala kuch hai nahi? You're not gonna see no boobs. So, you know what? Don't come and talk to me ki mein Pakistan ke baare mein kya karti hu ya nahi karti hu. I am just passionate about this. I get very, um, this was some, this is something that hits close to me. It's just something that I think everybody should be passionate about. If you're not passionate about this stuff and you don't get mad about these kind of things, there's something seriously wrong with you then. I should do this. You know what? What we should do when we catch people like this, like I'm in Pakistan, whatever is in between their pants, I would chop their fucking dick off, put it in the blender, and this was what I would do to them, okay? If you were caught, this would be your punishment. 